In the days following the atrocities inflicted on Israel by Hamas, the progressive left mobilised their seasoned army of protesters across the globe, waving their flags and holding their signs in support of Palestine. Students, academics and minority groups stood in solidarity with Islamists in what Sky News All-Stars called suicidally stupid. Some view this support as compassionate and empathetic, while Sky News All-Stars Rita Panahi, Shari Markson and Douglas Murray see it as dim-witted and hypocritical. Tens of thousands across the globe have marched for Palestine over the past two weeks. It was a sea of Palestinian pride as members of the community gathered for their largest demonstration since the escalation of violence. But Sky News All-Star Rita Panahi calls these demonstrations suicidally stupid for backing a regime that would not hesitate to kill them. Let's start lefties losing it with suicidally stupid protesters who are backing a regime that would imprison, torture and kill them. Many of the protesters are part of the LGBTQIA plus community, which comedian Alex Stein mocked for its hypocrisy. And there's nothing more hypocritical in this entire world than seeing the LGBTQ community coming out in support of Hamas, basically. I mean, you would think that this was a joke written by Saturday Night Live, but this is a real thing. And if they were to go to Palestine, they would literally be thrown off a roof. I mean, that's not hyperbole. That literally happened. So it's just kind of shocking, I guess you would say, that people have such strongholds in their identity politics that they can't even, you know, see the nuance of supporting an organization that literally wants to kill people. Sky News All-Star Shari Markson agreed, saying the pro-Palestine protests are heartbreaking and should be considered hate speech. Andrew Carswell, at the start of the show um, in my editorial, I spoke about the protests that we saw around the world over the weekend. You know, literally hundreds of thousands of people turning out uh, to, support, to support. I mean, it's in the wake of the terror attacks, right? So they're supposedly celebrating these terror attacks or at least not condemning them. These aren't protests condemning the terror attacks. These aren't protests condemning Hamas. They're condemning Israel. Um, you know, don't you think it's it's just heartbreaking what we're seeing before our very eyes in, in this time when supposedly we're meant to all be inclusive and woke and, and, and have empathy and, and care about the victims? None of this is happening. Well, I think it's atrocious, Shari, and it says a lot about uh, the human condition of, of some people. And, and people like to jump up and down and say, oh, these are peaceful protests. No, 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 no. If you're, it doesn't matter if you've got a, a weapon or not. If you are actively saying uh, free, free Palestine from the river to the sea, you are advocating for the, the erasure of um, uh, Israel from the map. You want to push them into the Mediterranean. That is not a peaceful claim. Uh, and anything that suggests that should be um, um, treated as hate speech. Pro-Palestine protesters are demanding a proportionate response to the barbaric actions of Hamas from Israel, which Sky News All-Stars Rita Panahi and Douglas Murray slammed. In the past two weeks, we've learned a great deal about moral equivalence, cowardice and depravity from the quizzling left who looked at the barbaric savagery unleashed on Israeli civilians and then demanded restraint from the only Jewish state in the world, restraint from the worst attack after the worst attack against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. We keep hearing that Israel's response must be proportionate. Indeed, the far left monthly went on to accuse Israel of war crimes for defending itself. But what is a proportionate response. What would satisfy the suicidally stupid left? On Friday night on the Rita Panahi show, I asked one of the finest thinkers of our generation, Douglas Murray, whether Israel's counteroffensive should be proportionate. This was his response. Yeah, what is proportionate in a conflict? Mm. Proportionate in this conflict would mean that uh, the response to the massacre of more than a thousand Israelis in cold blood by Hamas a couple of weeks ago 
uh, should be responded to by Israel by sending Israeli forces to rape exactly the same number of women as Hamas raped and to decapitate exactly the mm. same number of babies as Hamas decapitated and to steal hundreds of Palestinians and hold them in dungeons and torture them as Hamas did. I mean, the, the, it's obscene to even think in these terms. And yet that's what proportionality would mean in this conflict. Rita Panahi then went on to question the nature of the protests, asking why there are no chants against Hamas, only against Israel. Why do we not ever see all the different chants? We get all the really quite offensive chants that amount to genocide, and River to the <coughs> Sea is essentially that. Why don't we ever hear any chants against Hamas? How about freeing Palestine and the Palestinian people from, from the Hamas. evils of Hamas? From Iran. But, but we don't ever point. hear that. From we don't clutches. hear anti-Iran or Iranian sentiment. We don't see protests outside the Iranian embassy or consulates having having a, a an issue with, with the country that's funding this terrorism. Well, because what Why? we're seeing is, you know, this complete upsurge in anti-Semitism. And Douglas Murray added to this, exposing a trans academic who insulted Jews. He was a Stanford. Here's, oh. here's a reprehensible, a reprehensible uh, woman called Mika Tosca, who, who teaches at the Art Institute of Chicago. This week, she uh, described uh, Israelis, Jews as pigs, savages, and irredeemable excrement. And she describes herself, by the way, Rita, as radically optimistic transsexual climate scientist. Well, good luck to her with her optimism, because if she was in the Gaza being her transsexual climate optimist self, I reckon she'd last about 24 hours at the hands of, of, of Hamas and co. Rita Panahi also exposed what she calls a delusional lefty losing it in Canada, who attempted to justify the attacks by Hamas. Let's go to another delusional lefty losing it, this time in Canada. Hamas is not okay. a terrorist group. Okay. Okay. Hamas but, well, what, is not a terrorist group. What is it, like a motorcycle a club? Or? It is a resistance that has been fuming for 75 years of colonialism, of occupation, of murder, of rape, of little children, of women. That's what they are. They are resistance. Do you think Canada is everything, a colonialist country too? Or? Everything that they do is justified. Including what happened last week? Every single thing they have done is justified. Oh, Ma'am, there were children murdered, there were babies beheaded. Oh. Babies beheaded, really. Please educate yourself. I love it when uh, stupid people say, go educate yourself. I mean, it, it is, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the worldview of people like that, what can you do? Even video evidence isn't enough to convince them. But according to Army Horowitz, there is hope that protesters will see the light. The Sky News commentator changed the minds of a group of progressives when he educated them on the true ideology of Hamas towards gay people. So, Army, we just saw a couple of the people you went back to, and what ast astonished me, but it was so perceptive, was the guy who said, you know, I think I've been fed the wrong information all these years. So you have highlighted the fact, not only of what is happening in Palestine to gays, but also the fact that the left are deliberately deceiving the gay community in the West, correct? Yes, and, and I think what, what the takeaway from this thing is that this is a, look, when, when people are conf people are less jaded than you think, okay? And when confronted with facts and you have them captured, the sense that they're now, they're listening to you, they're watching, you can change people's perceptions once the facts, the true facts are given to them. And, and that's what I think is positive about this video was that you saw these people change their perspective in real time once they saw what was really going on. And like they said, not not the left wing talking points they've been fed and they've believed all these years. Sky News All Star Andrew Bolt sounded a warning for the West about the dangerous consequences of opening the immigration floodgates. Boy, Patrick, London is different now. The Middle East and its conflict seem to have come right to your doorstep. And I mean, literally. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like you said, you could be forgiven for thinking that we are in the Middle East. I mean, we had a, an egregious site, which is that our cenotaph, which is our memorial to the war dead outside Downing Street, had next to it a stage for pro-Palestinian protesters. 
if some of those people support Hamas, then they obviously support wiping Jews off the face of the earth. And right next to where we have the memorial for the people who fought against the Nazis, right outside Downing Street. You know, London looks as though it's fallen, Britain looks as though it's fallen, but it's not just Britain as well. In the last few days, we've had uh, a stabbing in France, six French airports close due to a bomb threat, a bloke riding around on a moped wearing bright orange, carrying an AK-47 in Brussels, like some kind of aggressive Islamist wacky racist. Uh, we've had Jewish uh, primary schools here doused in red paint. You know, it is almost like some politicians decided to let a Trojan horse into a continent, isn't it?